That's all you want. You want all them folks up, up, up in your business. You gotta honey. find my pots and pans. Honey, you brought me over here to cook with no pots and pans. Okay, well, how we gonna do this that? This oven has yeah. been used by me personally twice. Oh. When I host dinner parties, I have a chef come over and I think they've used it more than I have. That's how the rich and famous do it, honey. I just had my first chef experience this New Year's Eve. See that? Now, I'm in the right place. Show them our shirts. We both wear the shirts. Oh, yes, show them yours first. Honey, have a good day. But if you can't, don't you go messing up nobody else's. Yeah. I love it. Her so wholesome. Mine's A. Mine says, <laughs> hello, I'm Limitless AF. Y'all know what AF means. Yeah. As, as fun. As fun. As yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so but there it is. So today, I'm going to make jackfruit tacos for him to eat. Yes. I'm juicing. Okay, where, where my food at? Jesus. This is what I'm eating. Yes. So y'all got to know how much I love MJ because I'm going to torture myself in here cooking. I'm very you happy think. you agreed to do this. You're, listen, I'm happy that you called. Let me tell you why. So this is going to be vegan for those y'all who haven't picked yes. this out because this is Tabitha Brown for those who've been living under a rock. The queen <laughs> of vegan cuisine. Okay. And Ooh. so we're doing it this way. You know why I've chosen to do this whole vegan thing or considering it. I'm not going to say yes because then if I mess up, y'all y'all went after me last time. So I y'all leave folk alone when Ain't they say they want to do vegan or try vegan, honey. You let people have their steps. That but, part. Yeah, it's all right. You um, can't discourage folk. It's child. Yeah. I'm doing it because honestly it's out of a sense of vanity. So I turned thirty-five next no, February. Oh my your birthday. February twenty eighth. Oh, I'm the fourth. Really? Yeah. Happy birthday, Bruce. Yeah. Birthday, Bruce. It's that February thing. Mm -hmm. You know you're a Pisces, I'm but fine. are you all right though? You all right. Yeah, I'm all my right. son a Pisces. So it's all right. He's the sweetest person on earth, I'm sure. Love his mama. Yes, yes, we do. We love our mama. Yes, yes. I'm on I'm gonna be butt naked for my birthday. I'm oh. literally doing a, a nude photo shoot for my oh. fifth birthday. Oh, oh, so you're trying to be snatchy to snatchy, snatchy snatch. snaps. Oh, excuse me. So okay. I gave up alcohol. Oh. This is all here for my dinner party. Oh, bless, I gave up alcohol. Mm -hmm. And I'm considering <laughs> vegan, but I have no idea how to make vegan. I don't know how to make like the countryest artery clogging food on earth. Well, we 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 pray about it, okay? Okay. Well, very good. Well, you've done great with your 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 purchase. And today we're gonna make jackfruit tacos. So these are going to be plant based. So you chose these instead of lettuce wraps. You gave me the option. I did, but I, I thought you like... were trying to be snatched, so but it's all right because I'm not eating. But this, this is good. It's better than lettuce bottle. wraps next time. It's all right. Next this is your life, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that was a read. <laughs> But it's all right. This is actually a good choice. Okay. Um, instead of getting flour, so we're gonna use Trader Joe's uh, jackfruit. Talk. I mean, what jackfruit. Is jackfruit. So jackfruit is a is an actual fruit. It's a okay. real. It's really big. If you ever see it uh, in its raw form. Okay. It looks like this. Okay. Right but like a green huge. It looks like this thing if you've never seen it. <clears throat> when it's raw and cut fresh, it's sweet like. I was like candy, like a starburst or something. Really? Yes. It's okay. Like, it's amazing. I don't cook it fresh because okay. I'm, I don't think I can get that sweetness out of it. Okay. But I always cook it from the can. Okay. Okay. In the brine. Some okay. of them come in water and that's all right. But this one is in the brine. Um, and so it's just, it's a fruit. Okay. But it's great for us. And it's a great substitute for any meats uh, like pulled pork or uh, shredded chicken. Okay. It mimics Whatever you're going to uh, season it as, it takes on Same the, consistency. Yes, it's okay. very good. But the key to jackfruit is you got to cook it down. Okay. Because if you don't, the texture is terrible. Okay, okay. When I first met Jack, honey, nobody had told me about how you had to cook it. <laughs> and when I when I ate Jack, the first time I said, wait a minute, Jack got to be in a relationship with somebody else. Yeah. He's not giving me the best. <laughs> he's not him. giving you his best. No, he won't give me his best. And yeah. then somebody was like, girl, you got to do this. I said, okay, let me go back into the kitchen. Yeah. I did it. Fell in love with Jack and Honey. We've been like we've been like this ever since. Yeah, yeah. He in the house with me and my okay. husband. Okay, I'm excited. So yeah, so we got jackfruit here. Okay, and then we are going to we have red and green pepper. Okay, white onion. All right, and so we're gonna um, use. And I don't cook with salt. Okay, very rarely do I ever. Cook and she with salt. very clearly said in the text, she <laughs> says salt free, salt free. Okay, okay. Mm. And if you're trying to get snatched, you don't need the salt anyway. Yeah, that's sweet. Bloat you. Exactly. Yeah. So, 
Mrs. Dash, which is great. This is garlic and herb. And this is actually my go-to. So when you said you couldn't find the other one, yeah. very good. And then regular garlic powder because I like garlic and that's my business. Garlic powder. I do. It's very good for you. So um, you got a uh, skillet or, you know. A I do. I do. Saltine pan that you like I to do. use. I do. I got a big old country skillet. We need a... Uh, Oh, 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 you got that time. I got the... He got a cast iron. The cast iron one. Man, we ain't never made Jack in this, but it, it's the first time for everything. This is good. Yeah. Um, you got a can opener. I believe I do. And if you got the can opener, we're in trouble. Ain't we young? Let's make sure that I do. Oh, I do. I do. Oh, I do. Here we do. So let's go ahead. Uh-oh. This is fancy. Oh, you gotta hit the button. You gotta hit the button, you gotta open it up. Hold your mule, y'all. We're gonna drain <laughs> it out. <laughs> got the drain out. The juice. Or so the I'm feeling confident about the idea that I can make vegan cuisine at home with the assistance of your videos and all that goodness. But my Absolutely. question is this: mm -hmm. is when I'm on the road, oh, shoot. how do I continue it? Because that's what will throw me off being on the road. When you know what to eat. Okay. It don't matter where you are. Okay. I, I travel probably just as much as you yeah. do. Yeah. And I never have a problem. You probably travel more than that. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the the other thing is I do travel to mm -hmm. vegan events. So I, that is yeah, one so plus. I but say now. when I don't yeah. um, travel to vegan events, I still always have, I know what to eat. Okay. So it's just a matter of, <clears throat> I always tell people, don't think about what you can eat. Mm -hmm. Think about what you can't because the list is smaller. You can't have milk. Oh, you can't have meat. Okay, easy, easy. So yeah. you, make sure you do that. And then our phone is our friend. Mm -hmm. You can, um, I think it's called Happy Cow. I downloaded that app when you told me about right? it. Right, yeah. and then you can Google or you can use your map. Mm -hmm. If you put in your map on your phone, vegan, mm -hmm. it'll give you all the restaurants that are close to you, vegan. Okay. So yeah, we we got options out there. We good. But as long as you know what you can't have, mm -hmm. it's an easier way. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. You got a bowl. Um, how big? Um, it ain't gotta be real big. We're just gonna drain out the water of these. Let me look up and put them. <clears throat> I have is that kind of bowl. Yeah, that blue one right there. The blue good. one. Okay. Uh -huh. That's perfect. Yes. Okay. So, um, and him and these fancy um can open. It peels from the size designed to help you not to cut yourself. I, I think see. Is what it was. I see. So for people who haven't seen jackfruit before, so yeah. this is your jackfruit. Yeah. Yes, y'all see that? Yeah. That's the prettiest. It is, oh, 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 it don't look like nothing. But, do, but you can make it into anything. You That's can make it point. into yeah. anything. But the the key to this is getting the water out before you cook it. So it, look at how much water is in here. Mm. You see that? Mm -hmm. The brine, the water, whatever it, it's been sitting in. Mm -hmm. I always squeeze it out. I do it by hand. Yeah. Some people cook it out. To me, that takes a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, you're going to have to cook it And then... Uh, Put another bomb. Oh, yeah, let's get another bomb. I'm sorry. Grandma. So, um... Uh, grandma, oh, here. Grandma, yeah, just grab that one. Yeah, this is good. We can actually... Hold on. Hold your mute, y'all. I open the seasonings because I don't have a ton of seasonings in here. So, I used to cook all the time. I used yes. to cook my men. Yeah. But I ain't got no men. Well, that's so all I right. So, I order everything now. Oh, okay. So... Yeah. What what did you use to cook though, honey? Oh, all the southern style. Oh, thing. honey, I can cook a, a pig from the root to the tree. Jesus, stomach. we pray about I it, y'all. We pray about I it. I can cook a cow, every part of Dear it. Dear God, baby, I can make a roast. They'll make you slap <laughs> your mama. Well, I, you know what? I used to cook the same way. Yeah, back yeah. Back, long, long, long time ago, I ain't had red meat or pork in twenty five years. Re really? Yeah, but when my husband and I first got together, yeah, he cooked. I mean, he still ate uh, steak and pork yeah. chops. But he hasn't had it now in 18 years because he stopped when I was pregnant with my daughter. So 19 years. You know what? And I was looking at one of your old videos. Uh -huh. It was the one that you shot in the car when you were doing, you remember when you said you were doing Uber? When I ate the sandwich? My yeah, sandwich? Yeah, yeah. That's the video that changed my life. Yes. yes I saw God. that. And I'm going to tell you this. No shade to who you were back then, but you look better now. Well, uh, well, so clearly, you. clearly you're doing something right. Honey, and I was just a couple months into my, um, my vegan journey. Yeah. I had just been vegan for a couple months. Yeah. And stopped on at that good old Whole Foods, honey. You see how Donna didn't grew? You see how Donna didn't grew? And soft. Honey, she didn't grew up, honey, since that video. I'm going to yeah. tell y'all this. When y'all see me in my 35th birthday photos and I'm butt naked, y'all not going to see my, my kibbles and bits, but y'all yeah, all going to see do a that. lot. I'm not going to do that. Because it don't matter whether you go vegan or not. That ain't going to change. We not doing that. We not doing that. But when y'all see me, I need y'all to blame oh, Miss no, Tabitha Jesus. Brown, honey, because she's getting me right we're together. We're going to get you together. We're going to get you together. Let me ask you this, because this, you asked for mangoes, too. I have no idea how to tell if a mango is ripe or not. A little bit salt. So this one, though. 
I bought one that yes, was soft and one ready. that was not. Yes, that's okay. ready. A little bit soft. Same with avocado. Okay. Avocado oh, wow. should be soft and dark. Okay, these soft. That's how you know. Sometimes they, out here, I don't know about where y'all live, but sometimes they mark them as ripe. Oh, For folks who don't know. They this look one. all right, but yeah, they, are, are they soft? Only, yeah, they're pretty soft. There's yeah. only one that's not quite soft. Because I want to make us a little, you know, a little guacamole. Well, not us, you. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a dream and, and think about it. I've had this. I'm excited about this. I've had this meal many times, so it's all right. Then I ain't going to eat none today. Now, this is what I was confused about. You asked for, what was the name of the potatoes? Uh, the, uh, Roma tomatoes. Tomato. Roma. I but those are all right. Same, are they similar plum? Those are, those are mini. Okay, mini. The Roma okay. is the bigger version of that. Oh, I didn't know. But it's all right. That's a, that's even easier. So yeah. that's, a, that's actually good. That's it. That was your spirit saying, uh, -uh get these tapped on the window. They didn't have the other ones. At the, um, I wasn't looking. I even asked this woman to help me. I was like, can you help me find these? They, they didn't have, they didn't have, there was a lot of people in the grocery store. That's all yesterday. right. Uh, and so I'm excited. Okay. So my, my brother, who's got seven little ones and his wife, they are completely vegan. Oh, yeah. My mom is vegan. Oh, you did tell yeah. me that? Yeah. Yeah, so they're what all vegan. What happened to you? You got to just let us straight, didn't you? Just <laughs> Had to be the black sheep, didn't I you? Had to. Had to be grown. And I want to do what I you want to do. I always was, my fear was, and some of y'all can relate to this. My fear with vegan was that I would not be able to get full. I come mm. from the, and I don't know why it is that I feel like I got to be stuffed. But <clears> I always have had this idea that I got to be stuffed when I leave the dinner table. Well, that's a terrible uh, habit. Yes. You know, uh, mm. thank God you're not uh, overweight. It, I Listen, with the way right. our family's built, it but could you happen get your if blood? I don't act right. Well, hello. Thank mm. God you work out. But do yeah. you, oh, not something right. to flow. Do you uh, get your blood work and stuff? Like I get that blood good blood pressure, good it cholesterol. Because I'll tell you this, for me, I cook a certain way. I learned to eat a certain way growing up. But the way that I eat at home is extremely healthy. Like I have my vegan meal replacement shake Look for breakfast. You. Like it's a very clean, even though I order in food, is always <clears throat> extremely healthy. Yeah. I let my cheap meals be like, if like tonight I'm going out to dinner. Yeah. That'll be a cheap. Okay. Um, but I tend to eat very, very, very healthy. Mm -hmm. As clean as possible. As clean as possible, but the meat is oh. definitely something you need to work oh, on. Oh, yeah. Yes. 100%. Yes. Oh. Holy me, I got to turn my phone off. <laughs> yeah. And I don't do too much dairy. You know, that dairy during Thanksgiving ruined me for three it weeks. Was. The dairy during Thanksgiving. You see that? I can't handle it no more. You, you, Macaroni well, and cheese. Well, we're never supposed to handle it because dairy, milk, is for cows. Mm -hmm. Baby cows. Mm -hmm. we, you know, nobody else eats uh, milk from another animal yeah. other than a cat when we feed it to them. Yeah. We're the only species that does that. But well, Jesus said no, and so right. did my body. <laughs> okay, that. so I... See how I squeeze this out, so it still ain't looking like nothing. It looks kind of like salmon. It can't well, yeah. and you know you can make uh, crab cakes out of it if you season it, mm. like you know fish. Mm -hmm. You can do that. So let's get the pan. Okay. You got a cutting board. So um, uh, I don't believe oh, you don't. Okay, well maybe y'all. Well, that's all right. I didn't. No. Uh -uh. You know. Okay. Well, let's let's get us a paper towel. And we can do some improvising. Uh, for my future husband who's watching, understand that I have other gifts and abilities. Honey, listen, uh, this not his ministry, okay? This not his ministry. So he, but you know how to order. I know how to order. Know how to order out and things. I do. Okay? I do. Very good. Okay, Let me get your knife, though. Yeah, oh, with, thank God he got a knife. I do have a knife. Very good. Now, I ain't got many of them. Okay. But is this one okay? This seems a bit sharp. Oh, yeah, that's okay. all right, honey. Okay. I, I got Big Fred at the home. That, uh, I got new knives for Christmas, okay. and, and it's a big one. I call it Big Fred. Mm -hmm. You not name my stuff. You name it. Yeah. Your hair's Donna. I'm wearing Donna today because of you, the Valentino. Uh, yeah, I, I got that for Christmas. Don't you love it? I love it. I love me it some Donna. Actually, reminds me of my mama. The really? Yeah. I love it. Such a nice. I love scent. it too. Yes. And you know what? My husband was like, "Well, since your name, your hair named Donna, and that's why he got it for me." Look at that. I thought of you when I got it. I said Donna out here working with Valentino and don't Making even know it. Honey, don't even know she out here working. <laughs> I said, let me call Valentino and see if we can get a check. Okay? Yes. All right. So here we are. Honey, this is a good it. old night. Isn't it good? I don't, I don't, I don't it's not mine. Even... That's what the chef left here. Oh. <laughs> That's when we thought that he was all right. We're going to still pray for him, Jay, y'all. Y'all keep him. Y'all keep him in your prayer, okay? Y'all help me out, y'all. Help okay. me out. Well, somebody come cook for me. That'd be nice, too. Well, you say you get a chef and stuff. Yeah. Have you? Oh, you got to try Chef Hugh. Chef that Hugh? That I had for New Year's Eve. Oh, He's I would here. love that. He's here in uh, L.A. Okay. Amazing. He makes uh, vegan gumbo. Ooh. He makes these fried mushrooms. It tastes like little catfish. I'm gonna have to 
Capricorn honey. Sure he made us some Cajun pasta mm -hmm. that'll make you smack a couple folk. Okay. Right. So when you host things at your home, is everything vegan? Yes, when okay. I cook. Yes. Okay. In terms yes. of, but do you have any non-vegan options when you're hosting like things at home? Uh, or is the whole full menu vegan? No, when I host at mm -hmm. my house, it's all vegan. Okay. But my friends that are not, they're more than welcome to bring their own. When you go to their house, let's say someone's hosting something, right? This happened to me. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine, I was hosting like a brunch or whatever. And it was my first one here. And he was coming over and he says to me, um, like a day in advance, he says, uh, you know, I'm vegan. What options will you have for me? Ooh, mm. Right. It was the way it came across. It was mm. the way it came across. Because my thing was. He could say it. Oh, um, I'm vegan. Should I, should I bring my own or would you have anything? I thought there was a way to ask. And, but I, so I, I was empathetic. I was like, okay, I get it. You want to make sure you're not hungry. Because I know I've seen it with my mom. She'll go places and they don't have nothing for her but iceberg yeah. lettuce salad. Mm -hmm, yeah. And and so. And your mom a vegan in Texas. No, she's she's in, she's on the East because my dad's in Texas. Oh, so yeah, my mom oh, is okay. outside D.C. Oh, okay. But I didn't know what to do. So I sent him the Uber Eats thing. As I said, just pick a restaurant. Tell me what you want and I'll order it. Oh, that was so nice you. of you. Man. I didn't know what else to do. Yeah. For him, but I thought about this. Like, I need to be more sensitive when I have people over that not everyone eats what I eat. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing when I uh, entertain, I make everything vegan. Mm -hmm. But I don't always tell people. Oh, and they really eat good. everything and be like, oh, girl, that was good. And that was vegan. And uh, they didn't know that. They eat jackfruit. And eating jackfruit, eating some plant based uh, lasagna, all yeah. kinds of stuff. I love it. Okay. That. All oh, right. Lord, we got these. Let's get your pen. Give me oh, a pen. You want to put it over here okay. just so we can start putting stuff in. Okay. Now, y'all know with me, I don't <laughs> necessarily turn my stove on until I got everything in the pan. That's just how I cook. I don't know why. I just. Mm -hmm. I, I just do that. All right. So well, let's put some grapeseed oil. We're going to use grapeseed oil, y'all. Mm -hmm. Grapeseed oil. Why grapeseed as opposed to avocado <coughs> or olive? So I use avocado oil as well. Okay. Avocado oil and grapeseed oil are the top two to use. Okay. When cooking. Okay. Olive oil when I'm cooking. Olive oil and grapeseed oil are the top two to use. Okay. When cooking. Okay. Olive oil, when it gets uh, a high heat or high temperature, it gives off a toxin. I've heard that. Yes. And people, you know, back in the day, they said, use everything olive Honey, oil. Honey, back in the day, they said, use olive oil for everything. Grill your chicken in olive yeah. oil. Grill this, grill your veggies in olive oil. That used to be the thing. And then a lot of people, probably from that era, are now mm -hmm. maybe sick, sick or mm -hmm. whatever the case may be. But some people still cook with it. In mm. every blue moon, if I ain't got nothing else in the cabinet, Why not? I'm probably going to cook with it. But I normally, 95% of the time, I use grapeseed oil. Okay. okay. All right. So our grapeseed oil, our jackfruit, and we're gonna bring y'all over here so y'all can see. Okay. Everybody, relax. Calm down. They, I, I already oil. can hear them saying, "We can't oh, see, Tab. We can't see." Mm, that's all right. Okay. Oh, you need. Okay, let's go ahead. Honey, you see he turned the stove on anyhow. Though you see that? Oh, you told me not to cut no, it. Right, oh, right. you do it. I should have brought Shane. Who's Sheena? That's my cooking spoon. Oh my and I name everything, okay? <laughs> do I have, I don't think I have a cook, is this a cooking spoon? No. no. But you know, I like stuff that looks similar to this. Okay. We might be all right with this. This might be like sturdy too, but okay. okay. But because the thing is with the jackfruit, you got to break it up as it cooks. Okay. Okay, so let's, oh, you need, let me do so that. So y'all can see. Yeah. All right. Okay. So you see the jackfruit. You want to break it up, and you can still do this while it's cooking. And it's, it's not hard to break, but I can see yeah. why the consistency. Because if you look at it, it looks, looks like meat. Yes, it looks like meat. Wow! But if you don't cook it all the way down, the texture isn't right. You won't enjoy that. So I have a question. Yes. For me, I you know I always think if it comes in a can, I probably shouldn't be eating it. I think <laughs> processed, mm -hmm. and that's obviously I don't know if that's the case with this kind of stuff. But right. with jackfruit, is there a way for people who are like anti can? Is it, can you buy it in any other way? I don't know if it's if it comes in a jar mm -hmm. or not. I mean, you can buy it fresh, but like I said, when you, you buy really work with it. when you buy it fresh, it's it's hard to get the sweetness out of it. Well, actually, you know what? Let me look at this. The only thing with cans I'm ever concerned about check it is out is sodium. And in this, for the whole can, it's basically if you have the whole can of this, right? Which why mm -hmm. would you do that? That only accounts for it looks like what is this? Uh, just about thirteen. No, it's two servings sizes. So twenty six percent of your sodium for the day. So that's one meal. Okay. In theory. Yeah. You know. And okay. water. Now that's probably because this one is in the brine too. But oh, if you get it in the water, then it probably cuts that sodium right on out. That makes sense. That All makes right. Sense. So that's what you look in the count. I'm not holding these in this other hand. I'm just I'm doing Honey. this and holding this hand. No idea. We don't. 
Y'all work with me. Work with me. We didn't pray uh, before we started. <laughs> so right now, because the way he's trying to push this right here together, we're going to just go ahead and pray. pray. Let's do it. Lord, let me touch him, God. <laughs> uh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just say thank you for letting us be in this room, Lord. We ask you to come into the pot. Come into MJ hand, Lord. Mm -hmm. Just let Jack be fruitful for us today. This is his first time, Lord. We want him uh, to not let it be his first, nor his last. Okay? And amen. Amen. Yeah, I want you to taste it and feel familiar. That's why I said not let it be your first. Okay. Because when you eat it, I want you to be like, wait, now I had this before thinking it's some chicken or something. Okay. Or, or in your case, pork. Bless his heart. It's all right. We gonna, he going to get better, though. He going to mm -hmm. get better. Okay, now let's go ahead and turn your um, okay. stove on. Okay, we'll cut your head off. Oh, Lord Jesus. Let's do it. Like Donald. Oh, we can't do that. Can y'all yeah. see? Oh, yeah, y'all can see. That's good. Yeah. Okay. So you can cut your stove on. Okay, girl. Uh, and we, you already opened the seasonings up, I right? Did. I so did. remember the garlic and herb, mm -hmm. the salt free. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason I love to cook salt free is you can't ever over season it. Okay. You could have salt, honey, you can mess a whole meal that up. That is a good point. You That's can mess a, really a good whole point. meal up. Okay, so we're going to season. Season it up. I love season. season. It up. Mm -hmm. I love garlic. And you love season like I love season. And I love it. And I love garlic. Mm hmm Oh, wait. This one you didn't do. I didn't open that one. Oh, I took the plastic mm -hmm. off. Let's see it. Oh, honey, these nails, these terrible nails that I got today. We both were talking about our terrible manicures because I got a really bad manicure in D.C. The second one was better, but yeah. I, I tried to get cute. I had them put little um the little diamonds on my finger. Oh, for the new just, year. Yeah, just, yeah, just for the new. Mm -mm. They was popping off by the, by two hours after I left the thing. Yeah, see, no. Uh, I try to just do something that Choice had showed me, but I feel like, I don't know, it don't feel right in my spirit. I'm gonna see if it grow on me for the next cute. hour. Ooh, oh. <laughs> oh, popping bottles. <laughs> garlic. Garlic bottles. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, is I it cut on? the thing off. I guess this is how it is. Oh, no, that little piece of Oh, that's what it's all right. I'm, I'm oh, easy on it. Rinse it off. It's all right. Now I did it. But you can do that for later. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna put it between medium um, and high heat. Okay, y'all? And then, as it starts to cook, then we'll add our peppers in, and we gotta chop our onion up too. Chop the onion up, okay? Yes. I'll get that started. And you can chop an onion with a knife. I I cannot, but we'll get through. <laughs> Someone said hold a I hold a match in your mouth or something like that. Have you ever heard I, that I, before? I heard, hold a piece of uh, loaf bread in your mouth. I've done that. Actually. Okay, and that help? Yeah, because the bread soaks up the juice. I guess when when you're cutting it. Oh, yeah. okay. But since I can't put no bread in my mouth right now. You know, I'm proud of you for this juice that you're doing. Thank you. I feel amazing. How today. much does it in the whole thing? Uh, no, just probably a little. Like, what, is this? Yeah, that's probably perfect. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I don't know why I didn't have you. I could, you could have done one can, but maybe you're going to have somebody come over and eat. You know, you better speak that. Okay. You better I speak that. I ain't going to be able to eat it. Listen. You got a little bit of pepper? I do have that. Like that you should have. Everybody got a little salt and pepper. I got... You, oh my God! He left a bunch of seasons last time he was here. Oh, the chef! Yeah. Sure. Okay. Here's some pepper. Okay. Very good. I'd never we'll go. Bring y'all over here in a second. Y'all gonna be coming over. You know what? Let me ask you this. Let's you, because you cook on camera. Do you ever have those viewers who write and who tell you that you're doing it wrong, that you're chopping it wrong, you're doing it every that? day? I tried to do a little video one time. I was cooking something. I don't remember what it was. They ate me alive. Me you see. chopped that wrong. You did this wrong. I tell people all the time, do it the way you want to because that's your business. Mm -hmm. You do it however you want to. I'm going to do it how I'm going to do it. You yeah. Know, it don't matter. It's gonna take Every it. now and then, somebody say something, I'll be like, oh, I didn't know that. I'm going I'm to start doing that. Thank right, you. Right, thank you. I appreciate but, it. You know, when you do anything on social media, now, get ready for this. When you become, you decide you want to go vegan for a while, you gonna meet doctors you never even knew him went to school, honey. Ooh. You you ain't never you had never knew that he went to school to be doctors, honey. They gonna tell you, oh, you don't need to do that. Oh, you gonna you ain't gonna get no protein. Oh, you gonna be sick. Oh, you gonna oh, you gonna. Ooh. My thing, they'll tell you that, but they don't say nothing to the person eating a bucket of fried chicken. No, never, never. Listen, nobody ever asked me about protein when I was eating regular. Hmm. How about nobody that? Nobody ever asked me how I was getting my vitamins when I was eating regular Ooh. and eating junk. Nobody ever asked. No one was concerned about little old me health mm -hmm. until I said I ain't gonna eat meat and dairy no more. Do you take any supplements of any kind? I do. I, like that? Yesterday I actually had my injections yesterday. I do vitamin B12, B complex, and I do vitamin D. How often um, do you like have them do that? I go sometimes I go once a week, mm -hmm. and then when I'm doing a lot, I'll just get a double shot and go every two weeks. Okay, you go to wonder like when those I wellness. Um, okay. Wellness spot. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay, that makes and sense. And then when I can't, like if I know I'm gonna be gone for a while, I'll take, you know, I got some supplements at home, I'll do the body with Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You see that? You know, it takes on the smell of whatever you're seasoning it with. Yes. It looks like meat. I'm gonna just show you. Yes, let me bring show them open. Yeah. Okay, let me show y'all how this actually show looks. Me. It's just regular. It looks like it, this could be chopped up chicken. It could be white chopped meat. up pork. Yeah, any kind yeah. of white meat, really. That's um, right. It could even be fish the way it looks. Yes. This looks really good. Let me just get my the light for y'all to see. Oh, food. yeah. Give them some extra light, Chad. Look at that. But the key is to cook it down. Yeah. You got to cook it down until yeah. the texture starts to change. I ain't never cooked it in this cast iron skillet before, but honey. I feel like this is going to be even better. Well, that was the one thing I got first. I said, let me get a cast iron skillet. I that got one, but mine is like the one that got the ridges in it. Oh, the ridges? Okay, you got the fancy camera. It was a gift. It was a gift. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 So in this, what's the last thing I made in this? I made some, uh, what's his name? Some jerk salmon cakes in here. Oh, you can make this right here into a uh, jerk. I was thinking, I do one. Um, what's his name? I do a jerk jackfruit taco. Mm -hmm. really did. I did that. What else I made in here? Okay. I made fried chicken, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fried jackfruit. Oh, okay. Fried cauliflower. Cal fried okay. mushrooms. You can do all that in here, too. I love it. Enoki mushrooms or oyster mushrooms. Uh -huh. We had for, um... We had oyster mushrooms deep fried, the ones that's what I was talking about for New Year's Eve, and it tastes just like. Mm -hmm. How do you get the oyster taste in it, though? Like the seafood you kind of taste? What do you well, the name of that mushroom is an oyster mushroom. Oh, it's called an oyster it's mushroom. It's called an oyster oh, mushroom. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you use, uh, I use what you call nori for coffee, okay. which is an uh, Asian seasoning. It's like sesame and uh, uh, seaweed okay. and like spices. And it's, you know, just it's, you know how you do. Um, Dried seaweed, you know the sheets of seaweed they sell at Trader Joe's, yeah, like, like that. Okay, but it's in a uh, seasoning blend. Okay, and this thing's sticky. Oh, don't worry about that. Okay. okay, all right, y'all. And let's get you some peppers. Okay, which one? Oh, these. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Go ahead and add. Cooking should always be colorful. It should always look be at colorful. how colorful that is. Yeah. And I'm happy with my manicure outside of my little hangnail there. <laughs> but you look at my manicure. I gotta show that off. Yes. Okay, so let's drop Throw that in, in here. Let yep. me get a little more. And then bring your onion on over to. So you want onions too? Yes. Okay, we got our onions. See how finely I chopped those up, y'all? You did so good, you ain't even cry. I didn't, honey. I'm a soldier. Yes. In the army of the Lord. Yes. <laughs> and now when we put your fresh veggies in, okay. bring them over here so they can see. Okay. We still, I, like I said, I don't cook with salt. Mm. So we can we can season the veggies up too a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay. And like you said, because it's, you can, it's you really can't food. over season. You can't over season. There's no food in there. Right, it's just spices. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I love that. Let's see here. I'm just looking. Just make, yeah, oh, yeah. Look at this, y'all. It's literally 0% on everything. See that? Like, what, how can you go wrong? Literally, oh, how great. can you go wrong? We don't need that salt no way. Nope. Somebody right now is battling with that high blood pressure. Put that salt down. You can't listen, do it. Listen, you know what I like sometimes I, when I'm cooking chicken, what I do instead of salt, I use lemon juice. Yeah. It imitates the taste of salt for me. Cut a little piece of. Ooh, where's the lemon? Where's yeah, the lemon? cut a little piece off. We're gonna put it on in here. Okay. A little lemon juice. Not even half. A little less than half. Yeah, about right there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Chef Jackson, for leaving the knife here. Okay. <laughs> it has come in right handy. Just squeeze it over? Yep, okay. squeeze it on over. Oh, sorry. That's all right. And that's going to give us a little bit of zing in it, you know? Mm. Yeah. You know the smell of lemon reminds me of? What's that? When I was a kid and we would cook our dinner, you know, be, and now our dinner was literally all meat. It would be fried chicken, catfish, fried okra, um, green was cooking. Fried. Everything was fried. And but when we make the sweet tea, um, we would put the lemon in. So whenever I smoke fresh lemon, that reminds me of. Honey, you know, everybody tea. from the south, we grew up on sweet tea. Yeah, my granny sold sweet tea. Really? So, it must yeah, have been good. They called it muddy water. Muddy water? Yeah, that's how good. It was so good. That sounds good. And uh, 
when we first moved to California, we would go to restaurants and be like, can I get sweet tea? And they'd be looking at us like... They, they'll give you the tea without no sweetener. Yeah, they're like, we don't have that. I was like, what you mean you don't have sweet tea? I don't want... No. I remember the first time I was like, I I'll take uh, tea. Because, yeah. you know, the Sam, you ain't got to say sweet tea. It's you just, just say tea. Because who's drinking it without sweetener? Right. Yeah. And uh, I remember the first time I sipped it, I was like, oh, Jesus, what is what is this? But now, honey, I do non-sweetened tea. I do unsweet tea. You see, every now and then I add a little agave or something. Well... Things change, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna be changed. Y'all gonna see me. I'm gonna be like, yeah. I'm gonna be one of those people I go out and then people like, like, so would you like a so so? No, I don't, I don't drink. I don't, I don't, I don't eat that. Yeah. I don't eat this. I don't, I'm gonna be one. I'm gonna be one of those people, literally. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be 75 you. looking like I'm 22. Honey, listen. Listen. You gotta be 35. You got 40 years to work on yourself. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. It's all right. But listen, when I was 35, I was still eating whatever. You know what my thing is this. I feel like so many of us, we wait until we have complex health conditions to try to reverse it yes and so my thing is as it proactive yeah as early as i can make some alternative choices why not do that now yes. while i can because the reality is that i have family members who got high blood pressure yeah me too. diabetic yes a number of other conditions they just now put names on right new stuff that diseases that never were heard of before. never and yeah. i just want my quality of life because you and i work so hard right i want to be able to enjoy all this Absolutely. all the fruits of our labor without health issues now what you just said was a whole word mm -hmm. because a lot of people say well we're gonna die anyway i'm saying yeah we are and my daddy said there's one appointment we all gotta make mm -hmm. but what quality of life do you want while you're here in the meantime okay i i just had uh at a seminar uh, there was a trainer there, a personal trainer, mm -hmm. or, you know, yeah. fitness. And she was saying that one of her uh, high school classmates that she grew up with, she's 50. Mm -hmm. And she said she his mother passed away. Mm -hmm. uh, and he got left all, like, a couple million dollars. Okay. And she saw him. He was in a wheelchair, double amputee. He had lost due to diabetes. She was like, and he still was eating whatever he wanted. But his friend mm -hmm. was the person who had to help him do everything. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't able to enjoy the life. The money doesn't like, mean anything. The money don't even mean anything. Yeah. First of all, you, you lost your mother, which is a, a, Sad, a terrible thing. But she had everything squared away for you so that when she is gone, you would be taken care of. Right. And you're not even taking care of yourself. So what quality of life do we want? Yeah. So, you know? So yeah. yeah. That's a great point. That's yeah. a great point. All, all right. right. You got it. Let me see. I'm going to... See if we have the candle yeah. that, that you all are sitting on right now. <laughs> the heat of the phone is melting her. So I'm gonna put the candle. Oh no, we're gonna put it right here. You know what? It it's just melting the candle a little bit. Oh. So we're being creative, y'all, because the type of can the with the normal holder that the camera's on, it won't get you the right angle. So we rigging it. You know what I forgot to tell you to get? What's the saucer? Do I have you? you got if saucer. I do, that would be shocking. Dang. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I had a little yes, party the it. other day. Let's make sure the date is right. Though. I just it huh? should be fine. It should be fine because we use this like it's only three weeks. Yes. Yeah, this is fine. Perfect. Okay. Well, let, let, you ain't got nothing to cover this pan, though, do you? Okay. Just to let the temperature. Oh yeah, it's October tw of, of twenty twenty. So we're good. Oh yeah, you're good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm oh, something to cover it with. Yeah, just to let the um the represent. You know what? A little bit softer while we. Get all the other stuff together. Right. No, that's not good. Y'all, I'm trying. Honey, you try. Let's see what this do. No. Oh, I got a, you know, I may have a bigger time. Got a bigger time. I might. It's all right, y'all. I'm going to show y'all real quick how we eat. Oh, so that looked like some good old shredded chicken or shredded it pork. It smells divine. Okay. But I'm just, because I'm not used to cooking it in this, to let it, uh, the seam soften up the peppers and the onions just a little bit. We're gonna cover it up Ooh, while we get our guacamole together and our toppings. Okay, very good. good. That ain't really doing nothing. Y'all, let me show you what we're using as a top. Look, bless his heart. This is a bless little heart. pan that bless I've never heart, used God. before. I'm gonna put that on top of it. Bless his heart. It ain't doing nothing. Let's turn it, let's turn it on and off. Okay, let's just let it. We'll just let it do whatever it's gonna do. He he didn't know Jesus. I didn't know I was supposed to bring the pots and pans too. Bless his heart. It's all right. I, I didn't even think that far. Be, I just said, what are the ingredients? I didn't think nothing about what actual pots and pans would be. We might have should have did a raw meal, but it's all right. It's gonna still be right. Don't worry about it. Okay, so now we're gonna make some guacamole. Okay. Okay. okay cool. Wait, where did you have this? You uh, moved yeah, it. It's right here. Okay. I just put it on top of the can. All right. So we can. Let's rinse these off. Okay. 
Y'all know how to, I do a quick guacamole. Sometimes I do a cheap guacamole. If you ever see a uh, ready-made Kiko de Gallo in the store? Yeah. And you just get that. Yeah. Get some avocado. Yeah. And get you some lime juice and mix it all up together. Oh, oh. And that's guacamole. Little sea salt, little garlic. You know, I, I love guacamole. I've never made those. It's going to be hard to make, but that made it sound oh, really it's easy. easy. I didn't tell you to get cilantro, did I? Yes, you did. Oh, I did. Yes, okay. did. I, was I, like, I thought I told you. Yes, she did. Very good. All right. I just put it in the refrigerator. Okay, good. Very good. Cilantro is one of my favorite I things. I love no, cilantro. And you know, I never had I mean, cilantro until I moved to uh, L.A. It's in, in everything. Because... We didn't have cilantro growing up. Yeah, well, me either. We never cooked with cilantro. We never even had avocado when I was it growing up. It smells so fresh. Didn't nobody know nothing about it. Can y'all see? Okay, here are our avocados. All right. Oh, you mute, y'all. Yeah. Can you mm -hmm. just, use this good old chef knife? We pray, we pray God for the chef, Lord. Yeah. They left it on over here. <laughs> okay. Fresh cilantro. For those of you who are wondering how cilantro looks, oh yeah, it looks like parsley. So make sure you read it before you buy yes, it. I've done parsley that before. Is disgusting. Yeah, when you eat it raw, expecting it to taste like cilantro. Yes. And some people have that cilantro. Um, it's a, it's a, what is it? A reverse taste bud. So when they eat it, it tastes like soap. Really? Yeah. It's, a, it's I more, feel bad for them because cilantro is amazing. I love cilantro. I should have brought you my avocado peeler. It's an avocado peeler. Oh, honey, it's so good, but. Yeah. I know how to do it, so you safe. Mm. Okay, and this is a good one. Oh yes, look at you. How do you know I use the one? Honey, look at you. And then this is a little trick that what? they be doing at uh, Subway in different places. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at you. I know. I think I know what you about to do. Oh wait, this is too right. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you supposed to be to put it in there and turn and it, and it then it pops right, right out. out. But you know, you can eat avocado seeds. How? I, I listen. Somebody told me that. I was hoping you knew. <laughs> somebody told me that you can roast them or something. Okay. That's what somebody had well, said. Well, here we go. I said, now, I love avocado. Look at me messing this one up. Um, I got an idea. What you got? We should make jackfruit into vegan chitlins. You could do that. You could do that. Mm -hmm. Why not? Same consistency. Gonna get you some vinegar and some hot sauce, yeah. baby. Uh huh. Listen, I ain't had chitlins in. Whew. Baby. Probably 30 years, ain't it? it ooh, geez, I when know. I was little and I remember when my uh, grandma told me what it was, I said, oh, no more. I don't Lord want them Jesus. now. I don't want them now, Jesus. You was done. I'm, I think first time I was like seven. Yeah. And, oh my God, I love them so much. My dad still makes them whenever I go to Texas. Really? Mm -hmm. Boy, make a whole pot of them for me. Well, let's see if we can get him to use in, uh, Lord, I'm, you know, I'm going to have to sweep the flow when I leave. You are fine. Um, but you know what? Chantrelle or chantrelle mushrooms? E, what's that? I don't know how to say the uh -huh. name right, but it's a very expensive mushroom. Okay. But it's a it has a fatty, meaty texture. Okay. You probably could use that to make you some vegan uh, chitlins, honey. Okay. But I seen on uh like on Facebook, mm -hmm. <laughs> people was posting they was at the little Asian market. Yeah. And honey, they had a whole bag of vegan chitlins. Really? Yes. I'm not. I'm. That's not of the Lord. I'm not doing <laughs> it. <laughs> I don't want. I, I had chitlins in Japan when I was in Tokyo in um um in uh, November. Uh huh. They had them. They call it entrails. Entrails. That's what they call it, entrails. But that was that was vegan. It wasn't vegan. It was real. No, that was definitely real. Entrails. Was definitely, I, I, if I said vegan, my bad. It's it's definitely it was definitely real chitlins. Jesus, you were still. They, it's, it, that's a global meal. Why am I making you so much that you? Because you don't have company. Let me yeah. Just, let's do let's that. Just throw it in there. Yes, might as well. Hold your meal, y'all. We're going to show you. It looks divinely de delicious. I'm going to show yes. you why you're doing that. You're just cutting it on the... Okay. Getting rid of the... Uh, y'all see? Some yeah. avocado. Mm-hmm. going to make us some little quick guacamole. Mm-hmm. All right. Put that on in there. Get that off of there. Okay. <clears throat> so, I would hate that you can't see, really, but we're going to take a little bit of cilantro, and you got to chop it fine. Just okay. a little bit. I always While do that. Why you chopping them? I'm gonna show it. Yes. So they can see what that means. You chop it fine from the from the edges. You'll see more so when I. And you know it. what I love, Tabitha, is that you are a real cook. You cook like me from the point of view that I don't be chopping stuff up with. Like you know, some people make it look so pretty when they chop everything. Oh, that I got to eat. Well, I don't have that. There you go. When I look, when somebody want to pay me to do something like that, then I do. But 
we this we real folk, child. We this how you cooking at the house? Too. Period. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Okay. So so far we have our avocado and some cilantro in here. Okay. All right? Now this is where our little tomatoes come in. Okay. Okay. Let's move our uh, cilantro over here. That over there. <clears throat> I'm actually glad you got these little ones. They're cute. You can rinse your knife off if you want to. That's your business. But I'm just going to go. Everything going in the same bowl. Ain't nobody doing that. And ain't nobody doing all that. Okay. So for right. me, I'm not the biggest fan of tomatoes in okay. general because of the consistency of them. It's something weird about the taste, like the, the consistency of them. Yeah. However, I like them in um, guacamole. Guacam oh, yeah, I do. do. I love them. Guacamole. Then that's actually good that you got these little ones mm -hmm. because then you won't have to like bite into too much texture. But I remember my neighbor, she used to eat them like an apple. Oh yeah, she was just I did too. But she, and you know what else? Um, one of onions. my aunts used to do onions too. You yeah, had my mind. Absolutely. She would eat the onions. I'm like, what kind? Yeah, of? my grandma used to do the same thing, honey. A sweet by day onion, baby. But I love onion. I don't want to eat it just like a apple. But yeah. I will slice it up. Yeah. And put a little vinegar and salt and pepper on it. That's and, and chop up some cucumbers. Yeah. That's good eating. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what I'm looking for? Oh, the onion. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. This is so exciting. Yes. And y'all know it really wouldn't take this long if we weren't in here doing all this talking and if we couldn't, um, have, we didn't have to look for pots and pans and things. It's okay. You know. It's okay. But you know, just so I want you to know mm -hmm. that you can cook this quickly if you needed to. What I want you, you all know? to do is I want you all to comment below, mm -hmm. comment below and let me know what is your favorite dish that you would like to see a vegan mm -hmm. version of? I'm just curious. That's actually that. a really good um, thought process. Yeah. I always tell people that are interested in going vegan or when they do like a 30 day challenge yeah. or when they first start going vegan, one of the best things to do is remember what your favorite non-vegan food is and figure out how to make that vegan. Okay. So you don't get caught up in your cravings. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now we have in here avocado, mm -hmm. uh, cilantro, uh, white onion, and tomato. Yep. All right. Um, some people like to put peppers in theirs. I'm not so much, um, I mean, I'm not eating it, so it don't really matter. Do you want peppers in? No, I'm good. No, okay, very good. I'm not a spicy oh. food eater. The lime. I do like my lime. I put lime in my water all the time. Yes, I love lime too. Lime is the best thing. I always ask for extra lime to put in the guacamole. Yeah. Or when I'm eating my pad thai, I ask for extra lime. Mm, oh, that sounds good. Okay. Oh, this is going that. in Ooh, here. Okay. That. This there is so divine. we are. Garlic powder. You can use the garlic and herb if you want, but garlic powder. Mm, that's cool. There. Mm -hmm. Just because we got it and it's our business. Just throw a little bit in there. All right. Mm -hmm. A little, a little bit, bit more of that. That's yeah. Like you want to put a little bit more? Go on here. Yeah. I mean, this is food, okay? Yeah. You can do that. This is about the only time we use the uh sea salt, okay? The sea salt oh, is a little bit better for you, it right? is. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is because you know, like even when you're doing cleanses, you do sea salt to flush your system. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I always do sea salt or pink sea salt. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Himalayan one, yes. We put a little bit of salt, mm -hmm. I still don't do a lot though, yeah, so. of course, yes, black pepper. Did it come out, Jesus? Okay. okay. And then a fork. Okay. Let me get you that. To, you know, break the avocado. Those. So here we are. So this right here, we're going to mix it up. And this is going to be our um, good old guacamole. There you are. Or MJ's good old guacamole. Okay. You know what? Uh, Bless you and your fast. I'm going to come back over here. Uh, we're going to have to do a birthday celebration yes, with your Jesus. Okay. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Some people say, wait a minute, Tap. I want as right as you had thought. This you looks good. Me. Right? So y'all, I'm excited about this. That's been a big kick for me. So I stopped drinking um, in around the fall of this oh, wow. year. I was just supposed to do it for like a 30 day thing to see how it went. Wow. And I had a really bad rash that was down my arm. It looked like eczema. Oh my and Jesus. I didn't know why. And I'm, I shoot in the sun a lot. Mm -hmm. when I st and I tried, they gave me a steroid at the doctor to try to get rid of it. It yeah, would never go away. I stopped drinking. It completely cleared up within two weeks. And this is what I had for months. Um, you were having a reaction to the alcohol. I think so. Oh, wow. And the thing is, for me, I never thought of myself as a heavy drinker, but you know, you go out to this event, go out to that event. Yeah, you drink you, a little bit of glass yeah, of wine here. And it just added here. up for me. Yeah. And then for me, I started to see that I had abs because, you know, I've Ooh. had trainers for years, but I always had a little tummy. 
And so that came through. So I'm not recommending that people stop drinking. I'm just saying that for me, it helped you. It was it was a helpful thing. And so I said, okay, now let's look at what I'm eating because we it, alcohol don't matter if you're still eating crazy. Yes. And so that's where I'm at with with this. Working out thing. don't matter if you. Still yeah, eating it crazy. really doesn't. It doesn't. You waste thousands of dollars. Right. Um. Let me look at more lemon. I mean, oh, wow. Ooh, this looks divine. Okay, because okay, I had to break it up. Where, oh, there we go. A little bit more. Okay. Because as I broke it up, I saw I had right much avocado in here. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, we making guacamole. Yes. Yes, Lord. But it's done. You okay. see how quick? That's a, that's, that's that's a really good. quick. And that's a normal guacamole. It's fine. And now what you want to do if you got, you know, friends and stuff come up, you want to be fancy. And you take you a couple of little pieces of cilantro mm -hmm. and you put it on the top like this. I'm going to test the guacamole with my pita chips. Yes. Right, let's see here. Go ahead. I'm sure it's good. Let me watch. <laughs> I'm just going to look. Oh. Oh. oh, good. It's good. Oh, you know it's good when we dance, honey. Yes. Mm. Oh Lord, have mercy! Mm -hmm. I know it's good though. Y'all know I like lime. Mm -hmm. So I'm like just scoops it. Yeah, you just get another one. Mm -hmm. Right there in my face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I like my lime. Yes. You like yes. my lime. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I'm too with you. Mm -hmm. Let me get. I'm my, sorry. I'm being insensitive. Let me get my juice. Let me get my juice. Have a sip. Have a sip. It's a breath. Fresh press, girl. Thank you, my kid. I bet it tastes mm. just like this too. Mm. That's wonderful. That's mm. wonderful. Mm. 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 I'm not at fast level. I'm chewing, chewing my, chewing my juice. Mm. Y'all pray for her. Lord Jesus, I love you, MJ. Well, Bless your heart. Too, I, love I appreciate you. that. Okay, so now this is good. Mm -hmm. uh, Are we gonna make it now? Yeah, get your uh, let's get your plate. Let's start to plate it up. Okay. Oh, wait, I forgot about your, uh, your mango. Okay, good mango. Hold on, y'all. You do you like mango? Right oh, very good. Oh, somebody, I had forgot when I did taste it. They told me how to cut this uh, mango. I've never cut a mango a day in my life. This is a little trick that you do. And we don't need a whole lot. So, see how you cut the half? Mm hmm. You go here without going. Don't go all the way down. Don't go through two skins. The, the mangoes ain't yours, okay? Don't oh, do that. that's true. But you go all the way as close as you can. Mm hmm. Like so, like that. Mm hmm. Ooh. Come back across. I'm learning something today. Like so, like that. Mm hmm. Okay. And okay. then, you see that? Ta -da! Then, you just, then you got your mango, you slide the knife under it when you're ready to put it on your um, taco. Okay. Right? One plate. Yes. One plate. <laughs> Skin tea? Honey, yes, honey. Go, 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 go get snacks back up because I cut up a little bit during the holidays myself, okay? That's good, dog. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. this looks so good. But I reset every year. Okay, so we're going to put yes. it in here, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yes, put it on in there. Can okay. y'all see? Hold on. I want y'all to see. We're going to see. Right. I put it so in the little thing here. Mm -hmm. I got him in here. Okay. Yes. We're okay. going to get some guacamole. Yes, we're going to put a little guacamole. Let's see here. Yes. Okay, I want some entree leaf in there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this looks good. Okay, now uh, we got to put a little salsa. Oh, where's the salsa? What up? Oh, it's right here. Oh, right here. Okay. Give it a little spoon. Okay. Spoon. I'll see this. Okay. I got a fork, not a spoon. But it's all right. It's all right. Both ways. How you, y'all? Okay, so we got this. Which one was we on? Oh, that, that one there. It's right, right here. Right. Mm, the one on the right. Oh, right here. On the right. Oh, right here. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. So we got okay. this. Yes, and then we put mango. Mango. Okay. Oh, that's how you get it off of there. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. There you go. Okay. And then put you some little. Now, and I should have told you, you can also do some like shredded cabbage if you want to. Okay. Shredded cabbage. That's so good. If that's your thing. You want to show uh, oh, do you, oh, wait, you might not want no uh, sprinkles on there. Sprinkles or what? The, 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 no, don't put it on. It's it's got, no, you know, it got a little kick. Yeah, go ahead. So this is the Kelly's Croutons. Y'all know I love this. It's a smoked Chipotle. Yeah. Which is a vegan Parmesan. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. You did it this way. You don't, you don't be opening seasonings. You don't be opening seasonings. Like, you know. We'll be gentle with them. I ain't hit it. But maybe I ain't hit it. <laughs> as soon as I said As the whole thing pours out. It's because I'm weak. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't now. I'm just playing. All right. 
Okay. Let's right. see. Jackfruit tacos. Jackfruit tacos. I don't move the mangoes to the front. The, the first time in the uh, skillet that I didn't made them. That's delicious. Yes. Oh, you would not guess this not me. You see that? You would with my lime. I love uh, lime. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Put your lime on there too. That's the, that's a must. This is so good. Yay! You're so good. Mmm. Mm. See that? Mmm. You see that? That's jackfruit. That's Jack, baby. Jack, vegan jackfruit tacos. See, he didn't put so much in there. He didn't broke his taco shell. Um, <laughs> listen, y'all. Well, what y'all do? Yes. We're gonna eat this. Well, I'm gonna eat this. He, he, right here. I want y'all to do two things. First of all, if you're not following Tabitha and you're watching me on my channel. Where they follow you at? Please, uh, on Facebook, actress Tabitha Brown. Uh, Instagram, I am Tabitha Brown. YouTube, Tabitha Brown. Yeah, and same goes for y'all. If you're not following MJ Harris. You follow me at MJ Harris or it'll say Malcolm MJ Harris. I'm on pretty much all platforms. I'm not very active on Twitter, but I'm me on either. everything else. Yeah. Me either. Mm -hmm. people, people still up there. Though. It's a thing. People, people be on there. I, don't, I guess because we don't really type a whole lot. No, we, we video talk. people. Yeah, we yeah. be talking, running our yeah. mouth and stuff. How they buy your shirts? Oh, uh, the link is in all of my Ooh. bios because uh, it's my, it's a, it's a, it's a my Shopify, mm -hmm. uh, like I am Tabitha Brown, but that's the Shopify. It's I am Tabitha Brown dot com. Like my Shopify, I am Tabitha Brown dot com. Okay, but you know the link will be. It'll be right there in the description of this video as well as here. And mine is yeah, shopmjharris.com. dot com. Does that mean the same to your to my Shopify trip? Yeah, see, this is delicious. Thank you for being on my Yeah, this is delicious. Thank you, baby. Oh, so well. Hey, thank you, Donna, for coming. Honey, yes. We love Donna. One of my friends yes. watches and he loves. He always talks about Donna. Who is your friend? His name is Corey. Hey, he loves Corey. You to hey, Corey. I love you back, honey. <laughs> yes. And Donna said, hey. Yeah. She done came over here. Donna can't even eat. Donna be mad. She said, girl, so when mm. you can't eat, I can't eat either? No. Mm -mm. Not, not now one of us. All both of us is on the juice. Y'all, click like and share. Make sure yeah. someone else sees us. This could save someone's life. Yes, it can. <laughs> and remember, have a good day. But baby, even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's. Him. Love y'all. <laughs>